Mr. Chairman, I'm very pleased to yield three minutes to the primary sponsor of this legislation, Mr. Denham from California. Gentleman from California is recognized for three minutes. Thank you. And first, let me thank the chairman for uh, not only uh, allowing all of these bills to come up, but doing it in a very transparent fashion, allowing debate from both sides uh, of the aisle and amendments from both sides of the aisle. This truly has been a transparent debate. Uh, giving the American public a chance to see exactly what we are doing here. But let me talk about this unimaginable place that some of the extremists like to talk about. The unimaginable place I'm talking about is California's Central Valley, where you have twice the national average on unemployment, where some areas of the district are 30 to 40 percent unemployment. That's truly un-American. When you have a solution where Republicans and Democrats to come together, and yet you have some extremists that are willing to ignore putting people back to work. It is an unimaginable place, but one that both parties should take note of. One that the president should not only take note of, but the president should actually come out and visit. Now, the president likes to come to LA and San Francisco quite frequently. He's been there over a dozen times, but yet not once. When Republicans and Democrats have invited him to come to the Central Valley and see the devastation, see the unimaginable place that this high unemployment leaves our community in. That's why you've got both Republicans and Democrats coming together and supporting this uh, bill in a bipartisan fashion. When the wild and scenic river was designated, it encroached nearly half a mile into an existing federal energy regulatory commission operational boundary for New Exchequer Dam. Aligning the Merced wild and scenic boundary with the standing FERC project boundary will allow FERC to consider MID's proposal to raise the spillway gates by just 10 feet. We're talking about 70,000 acre feet of water that will create 840 jobs. Now, it's about the five to six million acre feet that we need, but it's a small step. But if the extremists can't even support this small step where you've got Valley Republicans and Dutch coming together, the question is, what really is this unimaginable, un-American place that they talk about? We need thousands of jobs in the Central Valley. We need many more projects like this. We need Los Vaqueros, Exchequer. We need the Temperance Flat. We need to raise Shasta in a fashion that Republicans and Democrats continue to agree on. While some say that this, is a set, uh, uh, that this will set a precedent for undoing wild and scenic designations, this area being discussed naturally naturally floods already and would impact less than one mile of the 122 and a half miles of the Merced River. Again, this is one small project, one desperately needed project, but one very small project in this unimaginable place. Title I of H.R. 2578 is common sense legislation that will allow for desperately needed storage, again, up to 70,000 acre feet, which has the potential for generation of an additional 10,000 megawatt of clean, renewable electricity. Why wouldn't we want clean, electric, re renewable electricity? Hydro is not necessarily the clean energy they like to talk about. Gentlemen, one additional minute. This will also create uh, increased recreation activity in the area and agriculture benefits. Furthermore, if a wild and scenic river designation is made by congressional or administrative action, we should be able to adjust those boundaries, especially if it serves the greater good. Again, this is not the greater good that some like to talk about because they're not focused on the American jobs. They're focused on a small set of criteria that they don't understand in our agriculture areas. To not adjust the boundary because it has never been done before is an inadequate justification. Again, this is a bipartisan bill that has support on both sides of the aisle from members uh, of the Central Valley, and one that was open for public debate, was open for uh, amendments, and again, I'd like to thank the chairman for having such a transparent process. Thank you, and I encourage your support of H.R. 2578, and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlemen's time has expired. The gentleman